Hi, it's uh, Colin here from Intimacy Matters, but I'm speaking to you on behalf of my other website, Intimate Tutorials. I'm really pleased to uh, introduce to you today Jade from Jade Lotus, who is a specialist and uh, a very well-informed practitioner in Taoism. So Jade, thank you very much for coming along today, and uh, we're going to do some filming later on in various different aspects. So can you tell us a little bit about what it is you're going to show us this afternoon? and what uh, the subscribers on Intimate Tutorials are going to learn from you. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about the male practice of semen retention and the transmutation of sexual energy. So what this is about is about um, learning to move your sexual energy through your body. So rather than just losing the sexual energy through the ejaculation, you can end up coming into a relationship with your sexual energy and learning how actually with your intention you can move the sexual energy into your body and up your body and um, this is also plays into the practice of edging which is very common mm -hmm. um, amongst a lot of guys now and also the hashtag no fat basically sure. okay and this is basically about it's about learning how to like have full body orgasms it's about learning how to have lost longer in bed and it's basically about learning how to get more sexual pleasure and increase your ability to to have pleasure in your body without losing the energy through the ejaculation and ending so specifically practice. it's something that men can watch and enjoy and learn from but i guess also couples and uh, women can, who are in heterosexual relationships can encourage their partners to to, to learn this as well. So if they happen to watch this uh, demonstration, they can encourage their, their male partners to learn as well. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, it's just about better sex. It's not just about a better sexual experience for the man, it's about a better sexual experience for the person that they're having sex with, you know? So yeah, absolutely. It's something that can benefit everybody. And it's not just about sexual pleasure. It's actually about increasing the amount of energy in our body. It's about getting better health. Mm -hmm. And it's about like, coming just basically into a relationship with your sexual energy. It's about falling in love with yourself and even mm. if you want to take it that far, it's about experiencing enlightenment. And I understand also you, you work a lot with women and uh, getting again more um, sort of self-focused pleasure for women with regard to breast massage and understanding and learning more about their bodies. Well, absolutely. It's about health and it's also about pleasure because when we're able to experience pleasure and experience a lot of pleasure, then we are, that is a sign that our body is healthy. So if we're experiencing seeing numbness and pain, it just is a sign that the whole energy system of the body has basically got blocked up. Mm -hmm. So all these practices are about getting the energy flowing. That includes getting the sexual energy flowing. And this is just balances us as people and it's very, very healthy for our whole body, all our organs and everything, you know? And as well as that, it has a rejuvenating effect on the body. So what we're doing yes. is we're getting hormones which aren't being used for making babies and we're putting them back into our endocrine mm. system and it literally rejuvenates our glands for, so that we actually start looking younger, we start looking happier and we start looking better. Well, it sounds excellent. I mean, what's interesting for me also is that as a practitioner yourself, it's our story that comes into this because, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's great for you to have all this knowledge, but I think for some people watching, it can be a bit intimidating when they see so-called experts, but we've all had our own journeys to get to where we are today and mm -hmm. you know, often we've come from a vulnerable place ourselves. So mm -hmm. would you say that this is something that you've grown into as a practice and a, and a learning um, from where you were say 10, 15 years ago? Mm -hmm. What's your journey been? Yeah, so absolutely. I learned these practices in order to heal myself, you know, so before I got into all this stuff, like I was anorgasmic, I couldn't have an orgasm and it actually took like a boyfriend around 21, 22 years old saying to me like, why are you not basically having orgasms, you know, and me just going like, ah, oh, what's wrong with me spending a few years just feeling really like, not like quite a complete woman and getting actually quite stressed out about the fact there wasn't really, so it didn't seem to be much information out there. There didn't be, seem to be solutions, you know. And then when I started learning these Taoist sexual practices, essentially what I did was I learned how to clear like blocked emotions and traumas out of my body. And when I started learning how to do that, what happened was, you know, I didn't even realize before that I just wasn't actually feeling anything in my vagina. And just when I just eliminated these things which were stored in my vagina, I just suddenly got like, 
a lot of pleasure and very, very quickly, you know, in a matter of really a couple of weeks, went from being anorgasmic to just being sort of multi-orgasmic mm -hmm. and having like a lot of orgasms. And this wasn't just about, you know, me getting more pleasure in bed, which like, you know, when I talked to my doctor about it, they were just kind of like trivialized what I was going through, you know. But this actually, like, my whole health improved, like, enormously. Mm. My sleep got better. And not just this, but the path I was on, where I was headed towards, what I was doing in my life, became, like, a lot, lot more clearer. So once I was able to access that sexual energy in my body, it really just had so many benefits. And when I realized that, you know, the back pain I was getting, the insomnia I was suffering with and so on, and when I started learning how to actually experience orgasms and realized those things all just disappeared and went away. I realized, my God, yeah, there's literally mm. like millions of women suffering with anorgasmia or maybe they can only have a single orgasm. Mm. They're not having their multiple orgasms. And this isn't just about us experiencing pleasure. This is really about our health. And it's the same for men who, for example, are suffering with premature ejaculation. You know, this is affecting their health. It's affecting their mental health. It's affecting their ability to mm. literally walk their path, do what they want in life because when we connect to our sexual energy which is our life force energy mm. we have this like amazing you know energy which we can use for anything we want so the Taoists they call it like a superfood for the soul so it's like mm. taking some really strong multivitamins and just having this energy and we can paint a picture we can you know run a marathon we can you know go to work we can help people we can do whatever we want mm. with this energy because it's such such a um, it's like such a multi-purpose energy and, we can just and it's, it's an interesting one as you mentioned you know uh, we come to it from from different places but also we come from a place of ignorance because it's the one area that is so natural to all of us as human beings but it's mm -hmm. the one that is least talked about least learnt taught about yeah. and I think you know for certainly for people coming into this learning phase initially it can be quite daunting because it's a bit like going into into sort of um, you know kindergarten for the first time and thinking that you're the only one that doesn't know anything. But well, actually, many people are coming from a place of unawareness, yeah. and and you know there is a very it's a very open classroom. There's a lot of very welcoming people in this world of learning about sexuality. So for somebody watching this for the first time or considering mm. taking a step into developing or learning or overcoming a mm -hmm. challenge, what would be your recommendation? for them to do the first stage. Yeah. So the first thing is there's a lot of misinformation about sexuality, both in regards to ourselves and in regards to our experience with sexuality with other people. This misinformation, it comes from porn, it comes from Hollywood, it comes from advertising, and it's constantly being put into us. So if you kind of go through this realization of realizing, oh my God, I have no sexual relationship with myself, or I'm actually like really bad in bed, you know, don't worry because there's millions of other people experiencing this, you know, and this can actually be like a gateway to basically just learning how to improve ourselves. You know, certainly like I've been like clueless in the past, clueless about myself, clueless about other people, you know, not understanding my own body, not understanding how to pleasure another person. There's nothing embarrassing about this. There's nothing shameful about it. And taking the steps in the right direction is actually like a really, really simple thing. And it's just one step at a time and really I would say that first step is actually self-love is actually like falling in love with ourselves is creating a relationship creating all this amazing love energy in our heart in our body in our auras and just having that there to spread around to other people and then when we've got all this love it's so easy to, because if we think about it all this knowledge all this information it's in our body already, it's in our DNA. We've just been programmed into a way where we're not able to access that information. Mm. But once we're able to actually come back to our original programming, which basically we can do when we just relax, when we just breathe, it's all there for mm. us. And a lot of these things that I teach, I might teach someone a little bit, and then a lot of the other stuff they just figure out for themselves, exactly because that information is all there. I have it, you have it there. Everybody has it. So give me an example of the sort of people who would come to see you and you know what, what would they would they phone you, would they write you an email, how would they contact you and what would they bring you 
for you to then help or teach them? What's yeah. their reasons? So motivation? people contact me in all kinds of ways and email I would say is the best way to contact me, mm -hmm. you know, because then we, we can send more information, but sometimes an initial text is fine as well, you know. And what might they be bringing to you? What was typically their, their sort of... I mean, I have all kinds of clients, you know, it ranges from people who've been sexually abused and raped with terrible traumas, people suffering with, um, with uh, premature ejaculation or anorgasmia mm -hmm. or maybe impotence. Then I have a lot of people that are actually suffering with what I call like religious abuse, religious sexual abuse, so where they're taught to be so ashamed of their sexuality, mm -hmm. they can't enjoy sex, you know, or if some people they're just looking for having a better experience, or there's some people they're into meditation, they're into semen retention, they're into kind of looking for a real higher experience with their sexuality, so it really doesn't matter like where you are, you know, even if you feel sort of like really clueless about stuff, or if you feel like you know a lot of stuff, well, all of this, you know, knowledge, all of this information, all these practices can just be brought in not to just give us a better sexual life but to actually give us like a better relationship mm. with ourselves and to make us better people because when we have a better relationship with ourselves and our sexuality we are just better people we're better at relating with other people and do you see you couples know? together as well yeah i see couples individuals yeah i you know i can work with anyone and it's mm. really about you know like I have all these tools, but it really depends on what, what someone interested in. Yeah. Do, they, do you want to work on your traumas? Do you want to work on your sexual problems? Do you want to work on learning to increase your experience of pleasure? Do you want to learn to use mm -hmm. your, your sexual energy for enlightenment, for improving your body, for putting into your piano playing, for putting into your art? Whatever you want, you know, it can be used for anything and it can really be used to just sort of heal mm. anything as well. And for you, when, when is the moment, when is that best moment when you go, I absolutely love what I do? When's that moment you get that real buzz? I mean, so when I work with a client and I see that they're benefiting from it and they give me feedback that they're benefiting from it and I see the stuff doing what it's supposed to do for them you know that just makes me feel amazing because you know obviously with this work you do have to deal with some like really deep sort of heavy stuff like you know people's traumas and so mm -hmm. on but when you know even if you're working with someone and you're hearing the most terrible stories but then when they come back to you and they say to you you've made such a difference in my life you know actually none of these these horrible things that you heard you know, can harm you. In fact, that whole experience just makes me happier, makes me a better person, you know? So it's really just seeing people's journeys, seeing people mm -hmm. improving, and that's really why I do it, you know? And, you know, it can sound a lot, it can, for a lot of people, it might sound quite serious, and obviously there's a lot of concentration, but there must be a lot of joy and humor, humor around what you do as well. So you must have had some funny moments or mm -hmm. some entertaining moments. Yeah. I mean, it's serious stuff, it's very nerdy stuff, essentially, yeah, but it's all about pleasure, and it's all about experiencing pleasure, because when we feel pleasure, we know the energy's moving, and mm. it's doing what it's supposed to be doing, so whether it's just me looking at you, talking with you, connecting, smiling to you, and feeling that pleasure of connecting with you, whether it's me, you know, having the best sex in my life, having amazing mm. orgasms and pleasure from that, whether I'm just getting pleasure from cooking, eating, or whatever, any experience of pleasure shows that what's going on with our bodies is the right thing. And mm -hmm. in the same way, when we're feeling either numbness or pain or displeasure or whatever, this is just a sign something's blocked and we need to do some work mm -hmm. and improve it. Well, I think uh, um, it's going to be very interesting to see how you work with, I think you've got um, Maddie coming along and Harry, haven't you? Mm -hmm. and, and to hear their reactions and what their thoughts are. So uh, certainly, um, there's quite a few different topics that I think that the two we've mentioned and then there's going to be another another topic on uh, orgasmic something or other. Full body orgasms. Full body orgasms. Full body orgasms and about using a jade egg for ladies. And a jade egg. Yeah. Okay, so we'll look forward to seeing those yeah. as well. But anyway, thank you very much for coming along. You're welcome. And uh, yes, yeah, so everybody knows how to contact you, but they can get hold of the details. Uh, on the uh, tutorial and also um, you're always available in although I gather you're off on travels traveling around the world at some point yeah well I'm going to Mexico to do with some work related to this um, 
to this topic, you know, but I'm still able to do Skype sessions, absolutely, and now during the lockdown, Skype sessions is all going to be, you know, the fans, mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. yeah. So wherever you are in the world, people can contact you. Yes, exactly. Great. Well, thank exactly. you so much for coming along, okay. and I look forward to, uh, to seeing the, uh, the results and some happy place faces with yeah. Maddie and, uh, and Harry. Thank you. And my pleasure, Colleen. Mm -hmm. Really great to meet you.